Welcome back to House of Mysteria. We will be opening the Demon Legion battle deck for the game Legion's Realms of War. So let's see what's inside. We got Anaskelis, Anaskelis, the Fallen Angel Priestess, the Warlord with a damage counter max of 75, the special ability is Demonic Possession, it's a cooldown of 3 turns, target one warrior on the field and deal X damage to Anaskelis, the Fallen Angel Priestess, where X is equal to the targeted warrior's current attack. Take control of the targeted warrior, it becomes a demon in addition to its other legions. Magical Attack Manipulation Gaze. Target one warrior on the field with a current attack of two or less. Take control of the targeted warrior until the end of the turn. Has a physical attack called Heart Piercing Claw. Deal four damage. Volax Document of the Damned, Bloodborne 4. As an additional cost to play this card, discard two cards from your hand. Search your, de your deck for one demon unified or fortified card, add the search card to your hand. If this card is in your discard pile, you can pay Bloodborne 8 and eradicate this card. Search your deck for one demon unified or fortified card and add the search card to your hand. Uval, Duke of the Fallen Armies, it's a warrior with 3 attack. Dumas, Queen of the Fallen, Sin Fallen Sinners. Warrior with 4 attack. Astaroth, Grand Duke of the Hell Plains. It's a warrior with 5 attack. We got the generics, Dismantle. As a cost to play this card, you cannot draw your next reinforce phase. Negate the activation of one fortified card on the field and destroy. Severed Connection. Target one fortified card on the field, destroy the targeted card. Second chance. Target one warrior in your discard pile, revive the targeted warrior to your side of the field. Pick up their power. Target one warrior on the field, then target one warrior in your discard pile. Increase the attack of the target warrior on the field by the attack of the target warrior in your discard pile until the end of the turn. As a cost to play this card, discard one card. Negate the activation of one unified card on the field and destroy it. Nibas, Succubus of the Fallen Dreams. It's a warrior with one attack and it has recover five. When this warrior enters play, the controlling player can choose to reduce the damage counter max count of the warlord by the recover number, so five. Nikor, Maelstrom of the Fallen. It's a warrior with one attack and it has the perish ability, which means when this is destroyed or sent from the field to the discard pile, the controlling player may activate the perish effect. The effect is to target one warrior on the field Take control of the targeted warrior until the end of the turn. While you control the warrior, it becomes a demon in addition to its other legions. Mamon, Fallen Angel of Greed. It's a warrior with one attack. It has retrieve. When this warrior enters play, the controlling player targets one unified or fortified card on the discard pile and adds that target to their hand. Alastor, the Fallen Nemesis. It's a warrior with two attack. Cobal's Last Laugh. Sacrifice up to three demon warriors that were originally an opponent's warriors. Reduce the damage counter max of your demon warlord by X plus seven, where X is the total number of demon warriors you sacrificed by this effect. If this card is discarded by the effect of a demon card, you can target one demon warrior on your side of the field that was originally an opponent's warrior and sacrifice it. Reduce the damage counter max of your demon warlord by three. The Fallen Voice of Damnation. When this card is first activated, you can target one player. The targeted player discards one card from their hand. Once per turn, when an opponent conscripts a warrior to their side of the field, you can discard one Fallen Demon card from your hand and pay Bloodborne 8. Take control of the targeted warrior. The targeted warrior becomes a demon in addition to its other legions. You can only control one face up, the Fallen Voice of Damnation. Moloch's Fallen Abomination, Bloodborne 6. Target one warrior on the field with the original attack of three or less, equip this card to it. Take control of the equipped warrior. The equipped warrior becomes a demon in addition to its other legions. The equipped warrior cannot be targeted by an opponent's unified or fortified card effects. 
fall of the fallen. As long as this card remains face up on the field, all demon warriors on your side of the field are treated as if they are fallen demon warlord, warriors. Sorry. Once per turn, when an opponent activates the effect of a unified card, you can pay Bloodborne 4 and discard one fallen demon card from your hand. Negate the effect of the unified card and destroy it. You can only control one face up fall of the fallen. Fallen Firewall. Activate this card only if your demon warlord is being attacked directly by an opponent's warrior. Target the attacking warrior and negate the attack. Destroy the targeted warrior, then, if you do, revive the destroyed warrior to your side of the field as a demon warrior in addition to its other legions. Your opponent can negate the activation of Fallen Firewall by discarding two cards from their hand. Volok's Document of the Damned, Bloodborne 4. As an additional cost to play this card, discard two cards from your hand. You search your deck for one demon unified or fortified card. Add the search card uh, to your hand. If this card is in your discard pile, you can pay Bloodborne 8 and eradicate this card. Search your deck for one demon unified or fortified card and add the search card to the hand. The Deeper We've Fallen, Bloodborne 10. As an additional cost to play this card, discard one fallen demon card from your hand. Look at a target player's hand. You can then target one warrior in the targeted player's hand. Conscript the targeted warrior to your side of the field. The targeted warrior becomes a demon in addition to its other legions. If this card is discarded by a card effect, draw one card. Rise of the Fallen Angels. As long as this card remains face up on the field, bestow plus one attack to all demon warriors that were originally an opponent's warrior. Once per turn, you can target one fallen demon warrior on your side of the field, bestow plus one attack, to the targeted warrior for each demon warrior you control that was originally an opponent's warriors you can only control one face up rise of the fallen angels semiasis rally of the fallen you can only activate this card if you control two or more demon warriors that were originally an opponent's warriors search your deck for up to two fallen demon warriors conscript the search warriors to your side of the field you can only activate one Semyasa's Rally of the Fallen per turn. Cabal's Last Laugh. We've already looked at this card. Here's the Veil for the Warlord. It's Veil of Torment. At the start of the game, Veil of Torment starts with three Veil Counters on it. At the beginning of each one of your turns, before you draw, remove one Veil Counter from Veil of Torment. If there are no Veil Counters left to remove, pierce the Veil. Flip the card over. Scorch Realm. When this card is revealed, immediately activate the following effect. Target up to two warriors on the field. Take control of the targeted warriors. The targeted warriors become demons in addition to their other legions. The synergy is River of Forever Fire. It has a cooldown of 5. Target up to two warriors on the field with the current attack of 3 or less. Take control of the targeted warriors. They become demons in addition to their other legions. Eradicate the targeted warriors at the end of the turn. Garuda's Hunger. You may only you can only play this card if your demon warlord is on the Skelis, the Fallen Angel Priestess. If you activate this card when your veil has not been pierced, pay Bloodborne 10, then pierce the veil. If your veil has already been pierced, target up to two warriors on the field. Take control of the targeted warriors. The targeted warriors become demons in addition to their other legions. You can only activate this card once per game. Paimon Ceremony of the Fallen. Once per turn, you can pay Bloodborne 5 and discard one Fallen Demon card from your hand to target one warrior on the field. Take control of the targeted warrior until the end of the turn. While you control the warrior, it becomes a demon in addition to its other legions. You can discard one Fallen Demon card and sacrifice this face-up card to reduce the damage counter max of your Demon warrior, uh, Warlord by 10. Botis' Fallen Hellblade. Once per turn, if you control a Demon Warrior that was originally an opponent's warrior, draw a card. Once per turn, you can pay Bloodborne 3 and target one Demon Warrior that was originally an opponent's warrior, Bestow plus 3 attack to the targeted warrior until the end of the turn. You can only control one face up Buddhist Fallen Hellblade. 
Bullock's Document of the Damned. We've already seen that one. And this is the, the ad stuff. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more Legions Realms of War content here at House of Mysteria.